<laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Coco, congratulations. Thank incredible you. year, incredible week here for you. Thanks. How do you feel right now? Yeah, I'm really happy with just the week here. It was a long week, um, great match, and yeah, I'm happy. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Congrats, Coco. How Thanks. did you turn that match around? I don't know. Just staying resilient, fighting for every point. I know it was like a couple of points away from losing, but you know, I just tried to stay in the moment, honestly, and I'm really proud of myself. Yeah, Coco, congrats. Thanks. Uh, quite an atmosphere in there. Yes. Probably what you expected. Yeah. Can you just talk about what it was like going through the emotions in there and what it felt like to win and kind of finish your week here on a high? Yeah, I, I expected. Uh, it to be a great crowd and it, it was exciting and to finish on that just felt like relief honestly because it was so long and um, yeah definitely tired now um, three like back-to-back -back days playing like late kind of late finishes so I'm just happy to be done and go home and not have to worry about tennis just for a little bit <laughs> uh, congrats Coco um, question here um, uh, Going into the match, did you expect that uh, it's going to be this hard and it's going to be drag this long? And when did you know that you're going to win this match? Um, I didn't expect it to be so long, honestly. Just I felt with the altitude, I, I don't know, I just thought the match would be quicker naturally. Um, but I knew that it was going to be a tough match, yes. Um, playing Quinn Win every time we, this is the second time we played, it was tough. And at the start of the match, he was playing a great level. So, yeah, I knew it was going to be tough and honestly, I felt pretty confident when it was 6-0 that I would win, but I also had to double check because I wasn't sure if it was a 10-point or a six or 7-pointer, so I asked the ref, and I was just hoping I didn't jinx myself then when I asked. <laughs> Congratulations, Coco. Thanks. Uh, my question is about Qing Wen. Uh, do, how do you will uh, Qing Wen's performance today, and uh, uh, is her level up compared to uh, last time your encounter? Yeah, for sure. She's definitely, I think we've both gotten better since Rome, obviously. And yeah, she's a great competitor, great tennis player. And um, you see the score line, it really could have gone either way. Those points swung my way and the tiebreaker had a couple match points um, in that one game. So it was a really tight match. Coco, congrats. Thanks. But we know you're a fighter, that's not new. But was there any specific drive, these, especially these last couple of matches, because no matter what was happening, whether you weren't holding, whatever, you always came back. And I'm just wondering if you could try and elaborate a bit. What was your biggest drive this week? Um, biggest drive, I think, um, first, my internal motivation and just the belief that some people in the stands had, most people in the stands had it for me. And then also, I think just like the mid part of the year, I think people were writing my season off and, and saying it was a, a bad season. So. Um, but I was like, there's still so much more tennis to play. I had a couple bad tournaments, but not even bad. I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I didn't feel like they were awful, but yeah. So I think for me, I was just trying to just motivate myself and internal motivation. And obviously there's external factors that just heighten it. Uh, congrats, Coco. Uh, I don't know Thanks. if you could hear during the match, a lot of young Saudi women were cheering you on saying, let's go Coco. Yeah. Uh, having to play in Saudi Arabia, Miles, these are girls the same of your generation yeah. did it cross your mind how did it make you feel no I definitely felt like you know the Saudi people in the crowd were cheering for me obviously there was a lot of Chinese fans too um, but I knew that I know there were some Americans but I knew it wasn't only just Americans cheering for me and it meant a lot and yeah I appreciate it that's why I wanted to come here um, and you know like I said in the speech there's never been a professional women's tennis event here and just to show young girls that you know their dreams are possible I'm literally no different than they are we just maybe come from different places obviously but I was their age watching professional tennis events in, in my country and now that there's some here I hope that um, you know when I retire, probably um, there'll be like a maybe a Saudi Grand Slam champion or WTA Finals champion, and I think if that happens, then I did my job, or and the rest of the players here who played the first event here did their job. Uh, Coco, a new championship and a new title. Uh, who's you going to give this title to? Who do I gift it to? Um, 
honestly, just everyone who supported me and believe it, believed in me. Um, you know, I've had ups and downs, but the support that I've had has never wavered. And the people who were a fan of me um, when I was doing great were still a fan of me when I was doing uh, bad. So I gift that to them. Uh, the second question, uh, what does it mean to you uh, won, won this match, uh, WTA, in Saudi Arabia? Oh, it means a lot to me. Um, like I said, first professional tennis women's event here, and I'll forever, you know, be etched in history in that, yeah, in that standard. And obviously, this being the title and the tournament being here, you know, this is nothing against 250s, but it's not a 250. It's not a 500. It's like the second biggest title in, in our sport. So, um, yeah, so it means a lot. And just to be etched in history forever um, is pretty cool. And hopefully, there's more events here. Thank you. Hi, Coco. Congratulations Thank you. here. Um, can you describe your feeling in one word? One word? Uh huh. Tired. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the match, when I like fell on the floor, I didn't ex think I was going to do that. Kind of like made an unpromised, like promise to myself that I would only save that for Grand Slams. But honestly, to the way the match went, I was like, I'm just tired. I just want to lay on the ground. <laughs> Coco, it's taken a lot of work for this tournament to kind of get back to the kind of prize money it, it's supposed to have. Yeah. What does it mean for you to pocket the biggest prize check in the history of the tour? Oh, that it really? It oh, is. Cool. It's four point okay. eight million dollars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sheesh. You don't know what you. Well, I didn't know. Like I knew it was some money. Like, <laughs> but I didn't history. know. I didn't know how much. Okay. So I guess, what, oh. what does it mean for you? And also, <laughs> how will you treat yourself? <laughs> oh, it means a lot to me. Um, how would I treat myself? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I have, I bought a house, so, and then I don't really know what else, like, I want <laughs> other than that. I'm, I'm going to music festival um, next week, actually, so I don't know. I'm not someone who likes to, like, spend a lot of money, to be honest. Um, I don't know what I'll do with it. That's a lot of money. What you said, four point four point eight. Oh gosh, that's so. I hope I'm like one of the highest paid female tennis players this year, or athletes. So that'll be exciting. But no, I mean honestly, I wanted to win this for myself. I didn't know that it was the biggest uh, prize check in, on this tour. I didn't know anything about that. Um, you know, I knew there was money, um, but I just I just try not to. I never play for this. I just. Yeah, but that's cool. <laughs> uh, hi, Coco. Uh, as you mentioned, there are lots of Chinese today. Yeah. Uh, so were you shocked by this? And uh, uh, did you feel pressure from them? And uh, there are also many Americans and Saudis cheer for you. So yeah. do you like this atmosphere? Yeah, I didn't feel any pressure. Um, I did expect it because I, I, well, honestly, in my last press conference, a person asked me about the crowd, so I figured, okay, I, I, there's probably a lot of people going to come. I didn't expect it to be so much, um, if like I was playing in China, honestly, but um, yeah, it was great. I think this is what makes it exciting. I wouldn't necessarily put say that it was pressure. I think almost it, it just feels me more, not because they're not, they're not cheering against me, but just the tennis atmosphere in general, just loud screaming, whether it's for me or against me, just makes it so exciting. You know, tennis, everybody has to be quiet, but in between points, it's like, I love to hear something, and it's much better than playing in a, a maybe a dead crowd. <laughs> okay, we'll do the last few questions. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Uh, how do you rate uh, Saudi Arabia hosting the first uh, tennis tournament? Honestly, my experience has been like a 10 out of 10. Um, I'm pretty sure like WTA sent us like a survey to survey it, and honestly, I have no critiques or complaints. Like, you know, I, my last couple <laughs> finals experience haven't been like the best, um, even despite the result. But yeah, coming here, I just felt welcome. Everybody's been um, welcoming to us and excited to see us play. And um, like I said, I hope that this is the start of something great and not only just in tennis, but in other sports as well. And hopefully, you know, more people, not just yet girls, but guys, older, young, pick up a sport. And I think sports is, for me, has been the foundation of my life and taught me so much. And I hope I can share that with other people just by playing here. Okay, last question, Lee. Coco, when we spoke at the start of the tournament, you told me there are some lessons you feel that you have to keep relearning, yeah. which is knowing that you can turn around your season at any point. Yeah. What do you think is the ideal perspective that you want to approach 2025 with 
given everything that happened in the last few months? Yeah, I mean, that definitely. Um, and then just staying positive, um, trying to stay positive throughout. I mean, I'm not perfect. I know I'm going to be upset, but just giving myself the best chance to succeed and um, knowing that, you know, all the work that I'm putting in will pay off. Maybe not when I want it all the time, but it will pay off eventually. Um, yes and no. I mean, I've never been a ranking focused person. I just want slams. Um, but obviously, yeah, I know I have that possibility, especially next year if I have a great year, but um, it'll be cool. But yeah, it, honestly, it's not on my mind. I just want to rack up the slam trophies. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you guys. Oh, sorry.